okay guys we discussed last class about an ip address and a mac address so i didn't given how to check ip address till now and uh, how to check mac address i told in that time only i told uh, basically how to check ip address uh, i think so but i told about a ping and a trace article command. okay there is a commands uh, related uh, information also we should add it but uh, i we think we missed it ping ping uh, command we discuss but we didn't discuss uh, some points so we'll see if possible today we will finish all this uh, networking related okay so already we are delayed uh, it's a uh, three to four days maximum days but it is around the fifth day of uh, network and the sixth day so uh, sixth day of your class okay so simple what is an ip address it is a logical address uniquely identified device in the network it is represented in numerical form in ipv4 represented in decimal and ipv6 represented in hexadecimal format okay so uh, yeah it represented in numerical form that's it it's not a numerical address devices need to communicate in the network the device need an ip address ip addresses defines what is the your logical network logically hmm. which network so, you yeah tell me tell me uh, my network problem so that's why i'm not in attendance time so please mark it and be okay. fixing we are present okay so thank you Sir, same from me, sir. Sir, one second, sir. Navneet Pandey, sir. Navneet Pandey, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Navneet Pandey. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. This is Sir Bolu. Manu Kumar. Where is? Yeah, here only, Manu. Manu. Okay. Okay, so to communicate in the network, compulsory you have to assign with an IP address. Okay, and every device has an NIC to get connected in the network. Every NIC has a MAC address. Okay, MAC addresses cannot be changeable. IP address can be changeable. IP address can be assigned by user manually we can able to assign an ip address and we can assign ip address automatically by dhcp server in your network you have a dhcp server okay so that dhcp server can able to assign an ip address to you okay Next MAC address is called as a physical address. It's represented in 48. 12 hexadecimal numbers are there. MAC address cannot be changed. Well, why? Because of MAC address is assigned by NIC of the manufacturer of that NIC. Okay. So that is a MAC address. In IPv4 and IPv6 are there in IP addresses, guys. IPv4 is 32 bit, IPv6 is 128 bit. IPv4 is 2 to the power of 32 and IPv6 2 to the power of 128. Okay, it means IPv4 around 4.3 billion IP addresses in the IPv4 range. Means total IPv4 addresses are 4.3 billion IP addresses. Exact number is this one. IPv6 is around 3.4 billion billion billions of IP addresses, which is also called as undisclosed. 3.4 into 10 to the power of 38 means after 34 you put a 37 zeros those many uh, how many 37 zeros you put it how much it is the number then many ipv6 addresses we are getting of course in the okay. world we are not using ipv6 not okay. enter ipv6 we are not using so tell me 
Yeah, sir. Uh, what does it mean? Means uh, 4.3 billion means we can create IP V4 addresses to uh, to start writing an IP address from starting IP address. Okay, first to to last number. Okay, start with all zeros, all ones till all ones. If you write it, it is a total I IP V6 addresses. Uh, from the last session, you said that uh, all the zeros are reserved IP address. That's why I'm no, confused. No, 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 no. Reserved are not reserved. It does not matter here. So which one you are working? Uh, it's, uh, we have to still work on this one. Same mm, press, right? Change. Okay, just a uh, uh, point is for counting just a uh, number of means whether it is where you use where you not use. Okay, we don't mind it. For example, you take IPv4, the starting address is given 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0. This is the starting address. If we convert into binary also all are zeros. It is a starting one. Whether you use or not use, whether it is reserved or not reserved. Okay. We don't mind about it. Okay, so if you start writing one by one, uh, one, two, three, like this, and finally we reach 255, 255, 255, 255. Okay, these are uh, totally 4.3 billion IP addresses. Same way IPv6 starting. Uh, actually, uh, of course, I'm writing in a starting hexadecimal number like this. You have to write all the zeros. It represented in colon colon actually. Okay. Uh, IPv6, uh, there are so many things about IPv6, which is I didn't uh, tell you. Okay. Anyway, it is like that. And last one is all RFs. Okay, if you write one, two, three, four, like that, so you finish till the last. So then you count it, uh, and then it is become. Okay. Presume also press. Okay. Okay. So this is totally 3.4 into 10 to the power of 38. Those many IP addresses. Whether you use, not use, or you use for different purpose, it does not matter. Total IP addresses. Useful IP addresses are this. Yeah. Okay, sir. Got it. Got it. So it is uh, usually decimal numbers only, guys. And this is each by uh, digit is a hexadecimal number. Here I use uh, 32 bit. Sorry, sorry. IPv4 is divided into four parts. Okay, four parts. You can see this is a four parts of IP address. Why four parts? Uh, it is because of to represent network and host related. Okay. To represent network and host kind of concept so they divide this into four parts not just like a one two three four numbers okay because ipv4 is sorry ip address is a logical address okay so this 32 bit is divided into four parts and it is separated by dot four parts means uh, each part is 8 bit because totally it is 32 bit in binary. You divide into 4 means each part is 8 bit, which call it as an octet. This octet is total value is 256, means the range is 0 to 255. Okay, the first uh, uh, part we call it as a first octet, second one we call it as second octet, third one we call it third octet, fourth part we call it as a fourth octet. Also, we can represent it in W, X, Y, Z. Okay. 
okay w x y z next as i said each octet is range is 0 to 255 means if any octet having more than 255 number it is invalid okay so this is your ip address so ipv4 the total range is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 that is the starting ip address and the end of the total ipv6 address ipv4 address is so 255.255.255 if you count one by one ip address and you write one by one ip address and completely from this to this it is around 3.4 billion ip addresses this entire range is divided into five classes this entire ip address range is divided into five classes okay the class we can able to recognize based on the first octet of the IP address. You look at the first octet of IP address, then we can recognize which class are it because the division is occurs at first octet of a IP address. The first octet means the W portion of the IP address, so then we can uh, uh, recognize what which class of IP address. So this is the first octet. This is the all our first octet representation sum. The class A is the which one is the first class. The class A, the range, where it is. The class A range is 0 to 127. <laughs> so here it is. So new keyboard, new laptop. I used a Lenovo laptop. Now this is a Dell with a big screen. <laughs> the keyboard is the layout is also different. Okay. So here it is. Class A, class A, 0 to 127. In certain test work, it gives 1 to 136 only, or some test work 0 to 126, some test work 1 to 127. But whatever it is, why they are not mentioning 0 or 127 or both? So there is a reason, guys. Reason is original range is this is the original range guys okay whether it is used or not used range okay so we cannot assign certain ip addresses to the devices directly we can't assign certain ip addresses to the devices directly one of the thing is zero series zero dot zero dot zero so this is reserved ip address for a certain services and certain representations yellow all default routings uh, dscp client uh, uh, related uh, uh, kind of places uh, like a discovery packet time so they use an ip address called a zero dot zero dot zero uh, and not only that one guys so that entire zero series we are not using in the common case and 127.0.0.1 this is also reserved ip address for loopback or local host ip address so irrespective of whether use or not use this 0 to 127 is useful is sorry it is completely class a only okay and uh, what is this local host or loopback address, guys? Every PC, every device itself, there is a address. Local address is there for itself. Whether there is a connectivity, no connectivity, by DHCP, no DHCP error. Every PC, I'm not saying adapter also, I'm saying every PC has its own local IP address that is called local host address is 
0.0.1. This IP address is also called as loopback address. What is meant by loopback? For self-testing purpose. Okay. So, for example, in this laptop, I installed a, uh, I, I cannot install now anything. Okay. But if in case I installed an application here. Okay. Uh, for example, I installed some application here. Or maybe I installed a, uh, uh, a server application. So I want to access it. For example, I installed an exam server. Okay, uh, there is a web application, web server is there. So I want to access. I install a Tomcat server. So I want to access. So then it is difficult. Okay, sorry, sorry, I, what I'm talking, uh, sorry. So because I uh, talk about installation, I cannot install anything in this laptop right now. So if in case I install a Tomcat server in this application, uh, in this PC, I want to access from this PC, I can use this local host address. Okay. Uh, this is small addition, guys. If in case, if you are using IPv6 local host address is colon colon one local host address is colon colon one okay if you are using IPv6 for a zero zero series colon colon one okay so that is a, these are a two mainly we cannot use it. That's why it is 0 to instead of writing 0 to 127, certain test books, certain websites told 1 to 126. Not only this guys, also there is a specific IP address, which is if you see this IP address on your network adapter, it can be assignable because PC assign itself. This is RP address. Separately, I will tell that one. So already I told. First thing is. OK, so before we continue, so this is class A 0 to 127, class B 128 to 191, class C 192 to 223, Class D, uh, 224 to 239. Class E, 242 to 255. So how to remember the ranges? I told about YSA layers, and I told about IP addresses. I told about uh, devices. How to remember all these things? OK, how to remember for an interview, guys? Interview is a secondary part that we are giving a training to know it to learning purpose only, not for your work or not for your interview purpose. So whenever we are telling, teaching something, when we are giving something information, so go through it, read it and read it and try to tell to someone or try to tell yourself. And again, read it. So you will remember. Keep practice. Keep practicing different question answer or maybe different IP addresses and recognize it. So then you will learn it. Observations. Look at uh, in your system, look at your uh, in network, internet. OK, so we take and like that subject. That's why we learn the subject. If you take like that, you will learn the subject. That's the, that's the simplest thing. OK, so some people, most of the people, because we told there is a uh, job, okay, there is a uh, offer is there. So you have to learn and you have to attend an interview, then you will get inside an organization. So people think we should learn for an interview purpose. No, guys, you yeah, have to learn for knowledge purpose first. Then you have to practice for interview purpose. Keep practicing how to tell an interview, that is, interview purpose okay of course we are trying to cover max to max which is comes in interview time 
and also first first class only like given interview related questions also and already i shared some questions last class so some questions there is a notepad file do not think i will open a, tomorrow is an interview today i will open do not think guys because it is not uh, your regular subject not your regular subject not your uh, academic subject okay this is the thing you are may learning some of you people learn for first time some are may learning second time when sir suffer some people well known subject can be there even though it is study daily keep practice keep telling okay so then you will become a habituated to the subject so just learn and leave it not like that practice so do so other kind of stuff the relevant uh, uh, kind of stuff try those things so then you can learn better way okay so that's uh, my point guys so how to remember this class addresses class a 0 to 127 so you got first one 0 to 127 after 127 what comes class b 128 to 191 class c 192 to 223 class d 224 to 239 class e 240 to 255 that is showing here okay you have to keep doing that ones and you will remember there are so many tricks 0 128 192 224 240 like that also you can remember so it is 0 class b is 128 no? so, so 0 to 127 128 1 91 so class c 192 is starting 192 to 224 then next number can be 220 sorry 223 then next number can be 224 224 to 239 240 to 255 so this is okay. so recognize which class of ip address it is see the first octet and check the table which class of ip address it is class a ip address because it is a 16 first octet is 16 look at only first octet guys Check first octet, and it is a class A. And check with this range. One sixty-seven. One sixty-seven is in between. Class B. Class B very good. B. One sixty-seven. Class A. Class A very good. One eighty nine. Class B. Class six C. Class C. Hundred so far. Yeah. No class B is correct. Right. One ninety one. Na. One ninety one. It looks like very sharp one. So very. So very nice. Class B. This is easy. Two two not one. Easy. Two twenty-six. Class D. D. Like class D. So take any IP addresses, number of IP addresses, and all you have to practice. So today, actually, I just given a revision of uh, other thing. We'll start from here again. okay so what is this i have written again so look at guys class a class b class c are unique hash type addresses 
this class a class b class c we use in general network communication class d is a multicast address it is used by this multicast addresses are used by a specific type of services like a routing protocols like ra easrp yspf deployment protocols like a boot p kind of protocols use multicast addressing okay class is r and d no one use class d so we are using only three classes class a class b and class c. <coughs> so here it is we start from here guys that is uh, um, you can see ip addresses are two parts one is network part another one is a host part devices are in the same network means logically they are in the same network means their network portion is same devices in the network wants to communicate each other their network portion must be same remember points guys this is the networking rules devices physically can be connected but logically they can be separate i have 100 computers in my network but only uh, maybe like uh, there is a 20 computers uh, logically same network other 20 computers logically uh, same network like that physically all are in a same network but logically there are separate network okay so how they can be divided logically guys based on the ip address network can be physical network can be divided logically by ip address that's why it is a logical address devices are in a same network means their network portion is same devices wants to communicate each other the two devices are there the devices need to communicate each other means their network portion or a network id must be same devices having same network id can communicate each other okay so this is the standard rules guys and maybe you may got a doubt sir mac address is unique address universally it is unique okay so why can't we communicate with the mac address yes mac address is a physical address of course every device with their nic so we can we have a mac address it's a unique address which is the most secure than normal ip address and it is represented in a hexadecimal very good one point is we cannot uh, use this kind of logical type of network you can't divide a network logically using mac address you can't divide our network logically with the mac address okay so that is the point there is no network id and host id concept in the mac address mac address is purely manufacturer id and the serial number only it's not about any network mac address is is a physical identification of a device okay mainly nic physical nic on one nic one mac address one nic one mac address but ip address if you have one nic but i can have two three ip addresses no problem we can do like that also one nic is there but we can assign two three ip addresses because of uh, we are assigning ip address in a os level guys this is another one mac address at nic level hardware level ip address os level ip address os level device level it is okay not a nic level okay devices are communicate each other if their network id is same 
that's what i said right what is that meaning so start of ip addresses i told one story right what is that you are having a a role number and i have signed a role number like this Twenty two zero one for Aman Srivastava. Twenty two zero two. Twenty two zero three. In our batch, we have a twenty two zero eight. Okay, twenty one zero four. 22 11 which is odd odd one out of this one guys the 22 represent your batch number and this is individual number individual number okay so who is this one our uh, one is uh, aman two is anant three is Ananya, 10 is Lavanya, 8 is Nyan Prakash, and 11 is Manish Kumar. And who is this candidate? Uh, where is 2104? Why I don't have that record, specific record? 4 record is there, but not 2104 record. So, what is this? out of your batch right so these are all belongs to same network but this is not how can i know it based on the starting number batch number. so same way guys enter network is network your ip address is network and post okay devices must have their network ids for example this network id is one host id is one network id is one host id is two network id is one host id is three network id is one host id is four for example i put a network id is two host id is four network id is two host id is five so what will happen here this is become one network logically this is one network and this is separate network. so both won't communicate each other directly okay of course we need a router for that one so so directly they, they cannot communicate it because their network is different from others Guys, understand network and host portion concept? Yes, sir. So, we are using class A, class B, class C because of there are unique cached IP addresses. Class A, first portion is network portion, remaining portion is host portions. By default, network and host portions by default so when you see an ip address and uh, you can recognize what is a network portion and what is the host portion by default it can be different uh, depends upon the uh, certain factors like a subnet mask i will tell subnet mask but before that one understand an ip address network and host portion wise the class a network and host 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 portion Okay. It is a kind of stuff. The range is different. Okay. So I try to put up an example, a generalized example for that one. Okay. Um, it's all about a, um, a certain uh, specifications. Okay, so what is the size of uh, host portions are higher 
in the in the class A. Okay. Um, uh, means, for example, you take a, a school, uh, just a school, just a normal school or a college you can take. Okay. So you are a person identify like I am belongs to this Butler College. Okay. So your one identification, you are belongs to this college and this is your name. So this is your college part. So only identification means only differences between you and other person. Both are different colleges means college. You went to college. <laughs> this is your department. <coughs> okay, this is your department. For example, you are from uh, electrical background. Okay, so so I added a three believe background. So you are differ because there's so many departments. Three believe department, ECE department, CSC department, IT department. Right, so different parts. So ER belongs to three BD. Okay, so you you joined in a year uh, 20, uh, 21 or 2021, 2020. Okay, or maybe 19. So you with this year pass out or uh, uh, for you, it's okay. 18 batch 2018, you joined into the college. Okay, and now see this another identification. So it represents which year you are belongs to. You join in 18 means that is the first year. Okay, so 19 is the second year. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you join in 18. This is the first year, second year, third year, fourth year. So 19, 20, 21 means by 21 you are in the fourth year. So based on current year, you will understand you are still in same college or outside of college. Now it is you are completed by two years back on. Okay, just just for identification. Which year? Joining year. Just for a um, understanding. Uh, originally my college code is different. My college code is first year, year, first year. So 2015 I joined, so year. And college code, there is a college code. Then branch code, then branch code, then roll number. Okay, just uh, uh, try to uh, make you understand like this. Okay, for example, in your college, in your class, this is your roll number. Okay, so how many people are having a common in these three things? Guys. Hmm? Uh, can you please repeat one question, sir? I will explain once again. Actually, this much explanation not required, but I am there. I will go with uh, the old one. Guys, um, in our roll number, so year, which year you join in the college? Okay. Year belongs to Tribuli department. Okay. So, which year you join? For example, you joined in a uh, 19 2019 you join in the college your year 2019 and uh, what is your college code your college having some code right so what is your college code for example code is c you join in a college in 2019 which branch you join Which branch you join? 
दिस इज ब्रांच कॉल ट्रिपल ई एंड व्हाट इज योर रोल नंबर फॉर एग्जांपल इट इज फॉर वन सेकंड हेलो टेल मी टेल निरंजन I'm sorry guys, um, I got a call from one of Wall Street. <coughs> okay, okay, continue. So just uh, I'm not necessarily telling the story, but for a main understanding guys. So this is year code. In a 2019, how many people will join in the college? 
how many people are joined into the academies? So many people, see. Right? So many are there. Not only this college, so many colleges. Think I am specifying in this year, in 2019, in this particular college, how many people are joined? So the number of numbers are reduces. Okay. Same way in this college, in this year, in this college, in this Butler Tribly branch, how many people are joined? How many people are there? So this is where the size will be reduces. Okay. It's become more specifications. More specifications. So this is a, a small story. Okay, if you confused or not understand or understand, just leave it now. Okay, so that is no use of that story anyway, guys. So you have to remember IP address new parts, network and host part, network part. Um, okay, uh, represent the network means the same network devices, the network devices having same network portion will communicate each other. The host portion varies. Not always, it means it is an individual identification. Okay, host portion can be, host portion is simple, similar to a role number. Okay, so network portion is, is similar to your remaining portion of Okay. So what I, what is the next one is this is the default network portion and host portions. Guys, I have taken four systems. I have taken the four system because this PC do not have a packet tracer. So I have taken a four systems. Four pieces. The first PC IP address is 172.16. So I have written uh, Second PC one dot twenty. Third PC three three dot twenty one. Okay, the fourth PC seventeen dot okay. So each PC, so it's a PC one, PC two, and PC three, PC four. So there are connected. They want to communicate each other. From which one to which one communication is possible? From PC one, check the network portion. It is a class B IP address, guys. It is a class B IP address. Okay, first check the first octet. Check the first octet. It is a class B IP address. Class B, first two. First two portions are network portion, remaining is host portion. See, first PCA, what is the network portion? First two are a first. So 172.16. PCB, what is the network portion? 172.16. 
both will communicate each other. Post portion is little different. That is at least one difference can be required. In any of one post portion, at least one difference is good. For example, this is 1.19 post portion. This is 1.20. It's a simple next number on no problem. Not required both host portions should be different. Not required. Or it is a 1.19. It can be 2.19. Because somewhere in the network portion is different. That is enough. That is also good. Okay. It's not required compulsory. Uh, follow sequence. Because host portion is different. Either both host, all host portions or any one of the host portion is different also acceptable. Okay. So network portion is same. So these two both can able to communicate each other. Guys, can I communicate from 1 to 3? Or 2 to 3? See the network portion is also same 172, 16. So we can able to communicate it to three. Look at the host portion. Both host portions are different 33.21. But because it's a host portion, it's an individual identity, not a network identity. So one, two, three communicate each other. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, muted. Uh, can you able to hear? Sir, you are here. Yeah. Audible. So see this one, one seventy to seventy. 72 is common, no, very good, no problem. But 17, the both are network versions only. This is, these three are 172, 16. This is the network version, this is the network version, but this side, it is different. So network is different from these three, one, two, three devices to the fourth one. So these devices, these devices can communicate each other, but they cannot communicate to this one. Why? Because of this network portion. Network ID. Network portion or network ID. Good. So that's the same thing I've written here. So 172.16 is common in the for PC1, PC2, PC3. So they communicate each other. But in PC4, the network portion is 170 to 17. The 17, this is the where it has got difference between other networks. So then PC4 cannot communicate to PC1 or PC2 or PC3. Similarly, guys, three IP addresses have taken. See 110.12.23. 110, 112.22.34. So both are class A. 110, it is a class A IP address. First class A. The first portion is network, remaining is first portion. Means in this portion, I, I, number can be anything. Number can be anything, but should not be same as the other one. Because another rule we should remember that is post portions not exactly should be same means this is 619 1.19 if in case this is also 1.19 then it is danger it should not be like this okay host portions not as it is host portions should not be there. if it both are in different networks no bother i mean anyway it is different okay but both host portions also same, network portion same, and host portion is also same, means it is a conflict. It is a conflict. Both 
identity is the same. For example, I am calling with your names, but both are having same name. What we can able to do? But there is some difference is there we can identify. You both are having same name. So avoid it. To avoid it, we are using a numbers. Okay. Even the same numbers we use. For example, 31 for Swati and uh, uh, Lavanya Hello. also 31. Yeah, tell me. Hello, good morning, sir. sir actually, I thinking that uh, today class is off. So that's why I joined the late classes. I said today class is there and morning also I put a message. Sir, Parish is my So what's your name? Parish Sharma. Yes, okay, okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, no problem, no problem. I'm telling a lot of story now. So, I'll tell another 15 minutes that story. <coughs> okay, no problem. So, guys, look at here. Uh, remember, both the PCs should not have same IP address, meaning same network ID, same host ID. Both should PCs should not have. If they have uh, two PCs having same IP address, called a conflict. Conflict. So both are won't communicate each other or not able to communicate anyone or anyone can able to communicate this one, so cannot able to communicate. Okay. Both the PCs are having same IP address. It is a conflict. They cannot communicate to anyone. Guys, in this example, it is a class A IP address. Class A, first portion is network portion. Look at a first portion, 110, 110. is both PC1 and PC2 communicate each other, but not with the PC3. Why? Because of their network portion is different from PC1 and PC2. Okay. So here are two more examples. Which class it is? 181 means which class of uh, 181 is a class B. First two portions are network portions so you have to check the network portion is same or not here 181 181 181 23 23 23 so here even host portion is uh, one difference or a multiple differences are there no problem in the host portion in the host portion any change is normal any differences no but network portion must be same Post portion, one difference is enough, or multiple difference is also acceptable, but should not be seen. So PC1, PC2, PC3 has same network portion, so they will communicate each other. But in a PC4, in a second octet, in a second octet, the number is different from the PC1, PC2, PC3. In PC5, the first octet the number is different from the PC1, PC2, PC3. So obviously, PC4 and PC5 cannot communicate with the PC1, PC2, PC3. Okay, they can't communicate each other because of there is a difference in network portion. Compulsory, both the network portion must be same with other devices. Here it is, class C. 200 means it is a class C. First three portions are network portion and the last portion is host portion. Okay. First three portions are network portion and last portion is host portion. First three, we have to compulsory same. First three portions must be same. So if you see PC1 and PC2, the first three portions are same. But in PC3, third octet has a different. And in a PC4, second octet is having a different type uh, number. PC5, the first octet is number. Means compulsory three octets must be matches. So PC1, PC2 communicate each other, 
but PC1, PC2 cannot communicate to PC3, PC4, PC5. Hello, sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Why it is different from class A, uh, class A and B? Yes. You said in the in the class C there will be three network IDs with the with one host ID. Can you please explain that one, sir? Yeah. Uh, so very good question. Actually, it is. See, in a class C, how many host portions are there? Only one. Only one. Only one. Right. So. If you take one class C IP address, uh, actually that is actually good one. Um, now or later we have to tell. Why we should divide a IP address into classes? This is also one of the reason. So look at here, guys. Um, number of host portions is one. Means one octet. So last octet. Octet means eight num eight bit, eight bit two to the power of eight. Okay, it means so I, I, we have to do minus two for the from it. I will tell you why why should we do minus two. Two fifty six minus. Two. Now. So what is this 254? What is this 254? Number of posts per network or a subnetwork. Means one network you have taken. In a class C, you have taken a one network. So for example, this is my network 192.168.1.0. This is my network. Start off class C IP address, one, one IP address. I started one IP address. It is a starting one and this one we call it as a network ID. The first one, the 1 1.0, we call it as a network ID. It's a start of network. So what is start of network? We'll see from here. So after this one, Guys, remember always network portion should be same. Host will be one, two, three, four. Roll numbers. Host are nothing but a roll numbers. Okay, for one one side of example. Okay, so this is a first valid host ID or a IP address. Okay, first valid IP address, first valid IP address, first valid host address. Okay, host address or host uh, IP address means we can assign to device, we can assign to a device. Okay. So like this, if you keep writing, this is the second one. This is the last one. This is last valid host ID or IP address. So up to these IP addresses means 192.168.1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 till 1.254 IP address. Up to that IP addresses, those IP addresses we can assign. Okay. Next. The last one, 1.255. We call it as a, a broadcast ID. Broadcast ID. So network ID and broadcast IDs cannot assign to any device. We can't assign to any 
device. Cannot assign to any device. Network IDs. And broadcast IDs cannot assign. So total it is 256, but 2 minus 2 because of network ID and host ID. So these are the number of locators. For example, guys, for your organization, in your organization, you have 50 computers and you want to plan to give an IP address to the 50 computers. have a plan to give an IP address to the 50 computers. Which class is best? How to decide? Based on number of host per network. You have 50 computers. Can I assign a class C IP address? Because I'm getting 254 here. Okay, I will avoid that confusion from here. Guys, number of host portions are here. Okay, so here it is two host versions. Here it is two host versions, means each octet is 8 bit. Now it is two octets are host versions, then it is a totally 16. 2 to the power of 16 is 65,536 minus 2. Why minus 2? I told already. There is a first IP address called a network ID and the last IP address is called as a broadcast ID. Okay. So you take a class C IP address, sir, class B IP address 65,534 number of host per network. In one network, means in one network address okay within a one network address you take one network you will get a number of host 65,534 number of host we are getting three hosts are there so 2 to the power of 24 minus 2 Okay, 20 to the 2 to the power of 24. Why 24? Three host portions. Three host portion. Each portion is 8 bit. So 3 means it is 24. Okay, so 2 to the power of 24 is really I didn't remember. Yes, I think a 16 triple 7 216 minus 2. So 16, 7, 214. It's a number of host per network. Number of host per network. So we better go through the Calci, guys. So 2 to the power of 24 16 7 216 minus 2 214 okay so now i will have a 50 computers in my network which class is better you prefer for your organization Based on number of hosts per network. So I choose class. 
Why? Because Plus I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting 254. For example, now devices increase. Now it is 100 pieces. Still better, Class C because 254. 200 computers now. Now, Alan, still class. In class C. Now, 300 computers. Class C does not support. So, we have to move to the class B network. We have to move to class B network. In class B, we are getting 65,534 devices. For example, your devices become 500, class B. You become a 5,000 devices, class B. It become 55,000, still class B. Okay, because it's a higher range is 65,534. For example, it is become 70,000. Crosses 65. Then I have to go to class C. So it depends upon your organization, number of devices and number of IP addresses requirement. You can choose which class of IP address. Which class of IP address. So, and it saves from wastage of IP addresses also. It saves you from wastage of IP addresses also. So, you take a class B 172, 16, for example. This is the network question means network ID 172 16 0 1 this is the first valid IP address host ID address 172 16 0 2 this is second IP address right so 172 16 0 dot 255 172 16 1 dot 0 no changes in it guys because network portion is not changed then nothing is changed and I receive 116 254 sorry 255.254 this is the last valid IP address. 116, 255, 255. This is the your broadcast ID. This is the last uh, means what happened after this one? That is important. It become different network. It become different network. So there we follow 16, now it is 17. So network portion is changed, means it is other network. So your network range is from here to here, and from here to here, you can assign to the devices, and from here to here, it is your total network range. But this is different network from here. Same goes here also, 192. In 168 2.0. So, what is this 2.0, guys? This is different network from previous network. This is another network ID, different network ID. Okay, so this is how the network is divided uh, into these pieces. Okay, so same network or different network. This is same network, this is also. In the same this is in the same network and this is in the same network this is also in the same network and this is a different network. okay understand why we should divide a ip address into network one of the reason and what is this network and host portions are defines what is our network yes sir <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. So I will add this point and uh, we don't discuss much, uh, but we can discuss. Already I written. Uh, network ID, host ID, subnet mask. But we have to complete the subnet mask. And this is for how to check IP address, assign IP address. So then we should go to some other process. Let us take a break guys, take a 10 minutes of break. Okay, so then we will continue because you are all so keep silent. <laughs> Understand the uh, network and host portion and how to identify IP address, which class of IP address it is. Okay, yes, yeah. sir, yes. I will tell yeah. about a subnet mask. Okay, so then uh, uh, based on subnet mask and uh, how to represent a subnet mask, what is network bits, host bits, those kind of stuff also I will tell. Seema Sharma also present. Sir Devesh. Devesh. Okay. Okay, so take 